Hello Internet, hello and welcome to today's video. Today I will try to explain to you how to play Solstice as a solo meteor. This will be the first guide in what I plan to be a long series of guides ranging from heroes over game mechanics to strategies. I will only cover Solstice as a solo meteor. I know that going jungle with Solstice is a viable option and it's not terrible, but I personally always felt like the mid is the lane where Solstice belongs to. And you should go mid. So let's get started. I will try to keep this as short as possible. As for your skill build, you will want to start off with a single point into the Illuminate. This will allow you to harass any enemy out of the lane. It doesn't even matter if he is ranged or melee. You then want to get another single point into the Solar Slash. This, again, will help you stay in lane and also harass a lot more and also take a lot more harassment. You then want to max out your blinding rush and your solar slash as your secondary ability. Get the ultimate whenever possible. I've seen players max out the solar slash instead of the blinding rush which I don't think is a good choice simply because the nighttime version of the blinding rush is just so so much more powerful than the solar slash will ever be even more powerful than the nighttime version of the solar slash. It not only increases your damage by more, it also gives you the additional attack speed which increases with each level. And you should definitely max that spell out. A note on the ultimate. I've seen a lot of players use the ultimate in wrong ways. You have to keep in mind that even though channeling the ultimate longer makes it more powerful, it already is a very, very powerful ability even if you don't channel it. More often than not, using the ultimate at melee range just to get a quick instant burst and slow or fear is more viable than waiting for the channel to finish. You should not be scared to use this ultimate whenever it's off cooldown, even if you don't get off the full channel. The full channel is nice, it's very, very powerful indeed if you manage to get it off. But that's rare enough to really be a non-issue in this regard. Sorstis as a hero is very interesting because she changes form depending on the daytime. So if it's night you get a different hero altogether. Now both heroes do have different roles. The daytime Solstice is much much better at lane control and farming than the nighttime Solstice is. But the nighttime Solstice is a much stronger carry, ganker and team fighter than the daytime Solstice. You should stay in the mid until it's nighttime. You should try to abuse the Illuminate and the Solar Slash as much as possible and get as much farm as possible before you go ganking. If you get a lucky rune, great go for a kill. But the downside with the daytime sources is that you can just get stunned out of your charge. Once you get stunned out of the charge, it's cancelled. The nighttime sources does not have that problem because she's invisible while charging and your enemy won't expect you to be there and can't stun you consequently. This is why you want to stay in the mid until it's seven and a half minutes in. As soon as the eight minute rune spawns, you want to go gank. It's time for some kills. In the background you can see a few clips from a few of my Solstice games. I am not going to talk about those though, I instead want to talk about something else. I've read a few of the Solstice guides in the guide section of Heroes of New York. Most of those don't quite get what this hero is all about. I have read stuff like, during the night she's a deadly assassin and during the day she's a tank. A lot. This is not true at all. His skill set does not change enough to justify such a drastic change in playstyle. That's not what this hero is all about. Even though her nighttime form and her daytime form do have significant differences, they are still similar enough to be the same hero and to fulfill the same role. In both cases, she's supposed to be the tanky DPS that's in the front lines, but still not taking all of the damage. She doesn't have to worry about taking damage, but she's not supposed to take the damage. She is a carry hero in the same style of a predator, of a hammerstorm, of a drunken master or of a pandemonium. 
she is in front putting out a lot of physical damage, but she still does not want to get stunned and locked down. Please keep this in mind. She is not what you would consider a tank. As for items, you want to start off with the usual shield, hatchet, tango combination. You then want to go for a quick bottle that allows you to keep on spamming the illuminate in a mid. And then move on to steam boots. After you've finished your steam boots, I personally love going for the Insanitarius. Insanitarius provides you with a lot of damage, a lot of attack speed, a lot of survivability, which is everything this hero needs. It just works really, really great with her inbuilt lifesteal as well. I then like going for additional lifesteal in form of the Whispering Helm. From then, there are many, many choices. I personally like going for either the Schwanken Head or the Demonic Pestblade, at least the Bulwark. Once you got those two, I really don't know. There are many, many choices you could go for. Depending on the game, you could get a Savage Base even. With charts, maybe a behemoth sword. Maybe you definitely need a sheep stick or a health flower. Basher isn't the worst choice either. It's really up to the game, it's really dependent on the game, and I can't tell you what to get as a luxury. But I really want you to start off with the Insanitarius. Give the item a try, it's very skill dependent, but once you get used to it, you can make shit happen that no other player can. So try it, it's amazing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I tried to keep it as short as possible and I think I for once succeeded. So if you liked this, please leave a like. This video actually took me a surprisingly short amount of time to make so I can definitely put one of these out every week. So maybe even leave a comment about what you, you want me to uh, tell you about next. Also, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I put out daily Heroes of New York content and I think it's pretty good most of the time. So, yeah. See you next time.